All right, let's get started. Today, my friend and I are sitting and relaxing at home and watching TV. But it seems like someone rang our bell, and I think we need to go downstairs to see who came to us. Maybe it's our guests, or maybe something else interesting, maybe for us. They have already brought us food because we have been waiting for this for so long. Hello, guys, and I am the sheriff of this city, and I brought you a paper that says that now you cannot live in this house because you did not pay the rent. So pack your things and leave this house. Now, it is the house of the state, not yours. This is just terrible because it means that now we have no home and no place to live and I don't know what to do now. We can only take our money from our vault and leave here. We can't do anything else because the sheriff of this city himself brought us the paper and you know that things are very bad for us. Well, I don't know what to do now, but I think for now, we need to call our lawyer to check. Is it true that these papers are evicting us from our house? That's for sure. Hello, lawyer. We would like you to come to us and draw up on our paper that they are evicting us from the house that we were sure it's good that you have already come. Here, please take our paper and study it on your computer so that you understand whether we really were left without a house or whether we were simply deceived. Guys, I'm just now studying this paper and also now looking at the computer to see what we can do in this situation and I can tell you that everything is bad for you. You really haven't paid rent for a very long time and therefore now you don't have a home and you need to look for another place to live or somehow try to get your home back. Maybe you can come to an agreement with the person who will live there or some other options, but everything is really bad for you. It's just awful. Now we don't have a home and I don't know what to do because now we have nowhere to live, nowhere to play on the computer and do fun things. And we've lost all the things that were in our house. What do you think? For now, let's go to a hotel and spend the night there or we don't have any other options. And I don't want to sleep outside with everything. How good it is that you and I have already arrived. Here is this hotel and now we can buy a room. Hello. You wanted to buy a room from you to spend the night because we don't have a home yet. Thank you very much for giving us the keys to this cool room. And we paid you the money we had. So now we can calmly go to our room to rest there or spend the night. And you and I will live there for now while we still have some money to rent a hotel. And we need to resolve these issues with our house as soon as possible so that we can return it. Well, let's do it now. Let's stay in our room because we don't have any other options. I think we should rest a bit now. And then we also need to come up with a plan how to get our house back. I think we'll need to go and look at our house later. Maybe someone else is already living there and we can come to an agreement with them. Or maybe we'll need to do things differently. It seems like everything is starting to get better. Let's go to our new one and see how everything will hold up there. Oh no, look, the sheriff is selling the house to some resident from our village right now literally for free. After all, he paid very few emeralds and it's just awful now. House is definitely not ours and it belongs to this resident. I think we should run to him as quickly as possible. Ring the doorbell and negotiate for him to return our house to us. We pay him money since we have no other options. It's just awful. I'm so sad that now this house belongs to some resident. Hello, resident. We know that you just bought this house from the sheriff but you would like to return it because it is our house. We are ready to pay you that you do not want to give this house because it is very cool. It is okay. We are very sad, but we cannot do anything. This terrible resident does not want to give us our house. I am sure that everything will work out with you, but first we now need to go to the seller and buy all the necessary materials to really do all this successfully. And we are already at the cellar. Hello, give us everything we need so that we can break into the house. These are pickaxes and all that. And then we will pay you money. Thank you very much. That is always helping us in difficult situations. Dip great. Now we have all the necessary equipment and we can begin our operation to penetrate our house to take it away from this terrible inhabitant. Well, now you and I, with the help of our cool picks, will be able to dig a passage from below and very calmly 
get into our house. And then we will take hostage this terrible resident and tell him that he is obliged to give up our house so that we can live there. Otherwise, he has no other options for salvation. Oh no, he noticed us and was scared and therefore created a zombie who will now attack us. And this is just terrible. Let's go up as quickly as possible after this resident so that he does not have time to harm us. And this is great. After all, we were able to climb up and scare him. And he seems to have fallen down to these zombies that he created. Who will be now? We see with you. It seems these zombies are attacking this resident and they will defeat him now. Oh no. They destroyed this resident. And now the police will most likely come for us. We need to think faster what to do. Oh no! Look, a lot of cars have already arrived to attack us and capture us and then put us in prison. So let's take the weapons that we have right here in the chest and we will defend our house no matter what it costs us because I don't want to lose her and I don't want to live on the street. I'm sure we can defeat these police officers because we are stronger. Well, really, a very cool weapon. You and I will just climb onto the roof now and shoot back from there and then we will definitely be able to win and return our house to our possession. It will be very good. And therefore, I am sure that everything will work out. Let's quickly climb up this ladder from behind and capture them, and then they won't be able to shoot themselves, and we can calmly put them in prison. It seems everything is going perfectly according to our plan, and you immediately drop your weapons and give them all to us. And now we will take you to prison for trying to attack police officers. Well guys, you got a very large sum. And also, you will sit in prison for a long time for the fact that you tried to attack us. And also you stole a house that is no longer yours. And for you, a resident also suffered because he was attacked by zombies. And this is all very bad. So now I will take you to your cell. And then, as it will be, everything is decided. And I will tell you what you will need to do. Because today, we will need you to work. And then maybe, I will see what I need to do with you. It's just awful! Because you and I are going to jail. And now we have to follow all the commands of these police officers. And to be honest, I'm very sad. So guys, now you will need to follow me. And today, you will work in the mine and extract all sorts of prices and resources I will give you everything you need, this pickaxe and special equipment, and then you will work there. And if you work very well, then maybe you will even get food or something else. And therefore you need to be very careful and do everything. As I say, and if you do not do anything bad, then everything will be fine for you. So now, I give you equipment now, and you go to work. And I hope that you will do everything perfectly because I am counting on you. Well, let's go to the mine now because we need to work and earn money. The better we work, the faster we'll be released from this prison. And to be honest, I don't want to be here for a very long time because I want to live normally again in some house. If at least not in ours, then at least in some house so that everything is good and great for us, we can have a good time. Yes, to be honest, you and I have been working for a very long time, but I think that it's not in vain that we do all this because sooner or later we'll be released and everything will be fine for us. Well, it seems to me that you and I really worked very well. Hello, Sheriff. Can we often give you your picks and also everything that we earned in that mine? We tried very hard. Well, now we have quite a lot of emeralds. After all, you and I have worked hard and we have been paid for it. Let's now go to the secret seller and while no one is looking, buy dynamite from him. Hello, seller, please sell us dynamite and we will pay you for it. A lot of emeralds. Well, thank you very much. As always, we are very much a spider. Look, now we have a single look and we can escape from this terrible prison at any time so that no one notices us. Two hours later. Well, let's clean up very quietly so that no one notices us and then we can calmly 
get out of this prison because these police officers are very attentive and we don't even have to blow anything up. We can calmly get out anymore and it seems like everything is working out just fine for us. After all, we escaped together. Yoo-hoo, let's see what's going on with our house now and it seems like someone is living in it. It's just awful. Look, the sheriff lives in this house. How dare he? After all, he can't do something like this. Legally or what? Then we'll take revenge on him now. I have a good idea. Let's go to the cellar now and buy mouse spawners from him and then we'll climb onto the roof of our house and throw a lot of mice there so that this sheriff escapes from our house and never wanted to live there. It seems to me that this is just a great idea. And you and I are just geniuses. Everything is ready, so we can start our plan. Well, we have everything with you. So let's climb onto the roof of our house as quickly as possible and make our plan a reality. And I'm sure that everything will be just great. And this sheriff will be very scared that we are up there with you. And now we have made a small hole in our roof. And now we will launch a lot of mice so that this sheriff will be very scared. And then it will be very funny and cool and he will want to live in our house more. Watch if anything, how he runs away from here. And he is very scared, and now he is afraid to return to our house. And it's just wonderful. And now we need to blow up this wall with dynamite, because we didn't just buy it, at least just with you. Let's have some fun right away, we didn't need it. I think that will also be a lot of fun and cool. What a cool explosion that was. And now we can go about our business. One day later. I just had a great idea. Now you and I will buy special police suits and we will change into them very quickly because in this store, you can buy absolutely everything. And now that we already have such incredibly cool and realistic police suits, we will now go to the seller and buy special leaves from him as well as an anvil. And then we will be able to do something. Hello, seller. Please sell us an anvil as well as a leaf and we will pay you a lot of money. Thank you very much for all this. Now we can proceed to our simply incredible, cool and ingenious plan. Now, you and I will convert this piece of paper into a special document that will say that the resident did not pay taxes and now we must evict him from the house. And thus, we will be able to live in our new house. I think this is just brilliant. And now, we have everything ready. What now? And now we can go and deceive someone. Hey, resident, come out. We are a policeman and on legal grounds. We want to tell you that you broke the law and did not pay for rent. So now you must leave this house. It is no longer yours and we will live in it. This is just incredible because you and I managed to deceive this resident and now we have a new cool house. How cool we are. It's just wonderful. Stand still and don't move anywhere. I am the sheriff of this city, and I see that you have broken the law again. You have deceived an ordinary citizen and taken his house. It is immediate. Stop the video sooner or later. I will catch up with you, and then you will have to answer for all your actions. You are just terrible. How could we do such a thing immediately? Give me this uniform. After all, you have no right to wear it. After all, you are doing such terrible things. This is just some kind of horror. 